Yes, that's correct. Have your last four digits of your social security number? Yeah, last four digits is 7324. Last four digits of my social, is that what you're asking for? Yes. Yeah, it's 7324. Okay. The reason you were not able to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social security. Do you have any knowledge about this? No, what's going on? Okay, just to confirm, do you receive any calls from local police department? Uh, no, no, I haven't received any calls. Okay, so as an as per law, you have the right to know about this ongoing investigation. So, sir, I will tell you each and everything. Just grab a pen and a piece of paper so that I can give you some information from my side. All right, give me a second. I'm just going to grab myself uh, some pen and paper real quick. Okay. Honey, take the, here, take the pan, take the pan. Yeah, yeah, honey. I got it, I got it, honey. Okay, okay. All right, I, I, got, I, got, uh, I got a pan ready to go. Okay, sir, just write down my name. Pardon me? Just write down my name, sir. It's Elena Johnson. Uh, uh, Elena Jones? Elena Johnson. Okay, I, I got that down, thank you. And my pass ID is NC122590. Five nine zero. Okay, I got that down too. And my your case number is F1429. Sorry, can you say that one again? F1429. Okay, got that, thank you. Okay, so now I will read out all the legal affidavit of your first call and please do not interrupt me while I'm reading this affidavit for you. Once I done my part, I will give you fair enough chance to speak, alright? Okay, I, I won't interrupt you. I, I won't interrupt you. Go ahead. Okay, I'll I'll I will I definitely won't interrupt you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, your affidavit states that your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some drugs and drugs inside. After investigation, we found that car was rented on your name and on your personal information. There were two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle, which were in the city of Florida, located by the U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered to the grounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from financial institutes, such as the Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, TD Bank, and US Bank. And this entire paper book has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we have a Social Security Administration has filed case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. Well, hold on, did now you say, hold on, did you say drug trafficking and money laundering? Yes. Well, how, how am I responsible for that? I have nothing to do with it. So we don't know who the real culprit is. Is it you or is it somebody else? Have you shared your Social Security number with anyone else? Uh, only my brother Billy, because like sometimes he uses it for like cryptocurrency stuff. But like besides that, no one. Okay, have you shared your personal information with anyone else, or have you lost your social security number before? No, never. I just like I said, just my brother Billy. But that's about it. Okay, so let me transfer this call to my senior officer with DEA. Uh, he will tell you well, each and everything. The DEA? Yes. Drug Enforcement Administration. Oh, but, but, but why? I didn't, this, 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 what? Why? Why the DEA? I didn't do anything wrong. So we don't know who the real is. Oh, no. Oh, no. If you want, we will help you. Okay. But you have to cooperate with us and be honest with him. Okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you.
So I'm holding the line for a good moment. I'll transfer this call to my senior officer for DEA, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Han Hannah, the DEA? Just hold on, hold oh on, honey. Oh my God. So, first of all, this is a confidential call. You can't share these kind of details with anyone else. That's just my not wife. That, that, wife. That, that's just my wife, that's all. Not, not with you. Not with your wife. Okay, uh, Mar Margaret, leave the no. room, honey. Honey, you need to leave the room oh. while I talk to the same. Okay, agent. okay, okay. Okay, she's left the room, okay. ma'am. Okay, so hold the line for a good moment. Thank you for being patient. Your line has been transferred to the Drug Enforcement Administration. This is DEA. How can I help you? Yeah, who am I talking to today, sir? You're speaking with one of the executive officers. My name is Otam Delon. Okay, um, do you know the reason for the call today, sir? Uh, you, I believe your call has been transferred to the Drug Enforcement Administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to the re sir, sir, the reason, the, sir, the reason we're calling you today is because the extended warranty on your vehicle is about to expire. Do you know this? My vehicle? Yes, sir. The extended warranty on your vehicle is about to expire, and we just want to inform you this. Are you aware of this? No. Okay, so you need to take down some of your information now. Uh, what make and model and year vehicle are you currently driving? Hello? Hello? Sir? <laughs> so the conclusion to that call was you can't fuck with a fucker, huh, bitch? You sure fucking can. <laughs>